Welcome back everyone. We're going to finally talk about a product that I have not even hit on on my whole entire entirety of this channel and probably rightfully so. I mean, I really didn't have a need for this product, but I think it still holds a lot of value for a ton of creative people out there for sure, especially if you're somebody who uses an iPad and jots down a lot of notes or draws or whatever the case is. An Apple Pencil, even the first generation one, will do you so well in the long run for sure. Now this specific Apple Pencil came out in 2015, which honestly, it does not even feel like it's been that long. I feel like this thing was released just like a couple years ago, but I mean, five years, that's still a long time. And when it first came out, it was selling for $99 and it's still selling for $99, which might not be a big deal. And it's really not. But the thing is to keep in mind is these things have gone down in value quite a bit in the used market. So I'm sure on Amazon, they're a little bit cheaper too. So I'll try to link some down from Amazon link down below, but you can always get them from eBay and they'll be pretty cheap there. Now, when this thing first came out, we remember that all those memes and everything about, oh, who wants a stylist and when Steve Jobs said that and all that stuff. And the first time I saw it too, I was like, what is the point of it? There's really like, I mean, I've seen styluses before that look just like this and I was able to draw on iPads and everything too, but once these things actually came out into people's hands, that's when opinions started to change. And even now in 2020, these things have held up so well throughout time. And even though the Pencil 2 came out and everything, this thing still holds a lot of value, I believe, to a ton of people. Now looking at the body of this thing, you can see that it kind of looks just like a pencil, you know what I mean? Up top you have that cap where you can take off and plug in the lightning port to an iPad to charge it. And this was one of the most confusing design choices I've ever seen. We've always seen the things like with the Magic Mouse too where you have to charge it from the bottom of the mouse and everything like that and that was a weird thing i don't know why they did that but this thing was like a whole nother level i think i mean this thing you could break your apple pencil and easily like it was the worst design ever they eventually did change it with the pencil too but it's still an extremely strange design they had however what i will say is that disconnecting the top cap and plugging it back in that was actually very soothing because because it was like a magnetic kind of pull and it pulled it in and it just felt so nice then you had the base of the pencil and then at the very bottom you had that little bit of plastic kind of tip at the bottom that looked just like a pencil and this was the touch and pressure sensitivity portion of the pencil where you actually touch it to the ipad and that's basically where, i mean all the technologies in the whole entire pencil but it's still you know a lot of it is right there and when you hold it and when you're kind of flicking it around your fingers like a red it feels like a regular pencil which is really cool it does have quite a bit of heft to it and it does not feel like a cheap product at all at least to me i'm sure to some of you it might feel like it but it feels really, really good for a majority, I'm sure, out there. Now, for the devices that this specific pencil is compatible with, there's a couple of them. There's the iPad Air 3rd generation, the iPad mini 5th generation, so those two new ones that came out last year, the iPad the 6th and 7th gen, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, the 1st and 2nd generation, the iPad Pro 10.5 inch, and the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. So keep that in mind. If you have those newer iPads, like the iPad Pro 11 and 12.9 inch ones, the 3rd gens, or the fourth gens, then you're going to have to get the Magic Pencil 2 because that one is only compatible with those ones. And the Pencil 2, I think, is much better too. But really, the main thing where I see people using this the most is drawing and illustrating and things like that. But there are still so many different cases for you to use this, and it's not even just limited to do those things. So many professionals use this to flick through documents and write on notes and cross out words and things like that like there's so many uses for it that i can't even list here because i haven't been using it for everything but the ways i've seen it the most used is usually in the classrooms by people who use ipads and when they download pdfs and they download documents and they're writing notes and taking notes and all that stuff that is where i see a majority of people kind of using the pencil too they tend to you know copy words and cross out things in the documents and write notes on one note or in their notes app or whatever and then bring it back to the regular document and there's just so many uses for it so it works like a stylus but it's like a stylus with more features i think it's just like an s pen in a way the really cool thing about when you're illustrating with this thing though is that with that touch sensitivity the harder you press the bigger the pixels get and basically you know like it's just like a pencil when you press harder on a pencil you know it usually gets a little bit darker and a little bit more pressure into that specific part this is no different you know it's the exact same thing which is really really cool so what i will tell you is is that the pencil 2 i believe is still completely worth it to basically everyone who wants to use some type of stylus or wants to use some type of tool like that in order to get better drawings or take better notes or whatever the case is it's not a necessity but it's a tool that will make things a lot easier for you I think in the long run so that's really pretty much it like i stated i'll link both of these the pencil 2 and the pencil 1 link down below if you want to get them from there 
But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.